Well, you can file this next story under only in New York. A quirk in the city's law allows residents without badges to issue city noise violations directly to businesses and keep a portion of the fine. And after an I-team investigation, we're, we're learning how people could actually make a living by issuing these tickets. As the I-team's Chris Glorioso reports, bars, restaurants, and shops are fed up. You might call him a one-man ticket blitz, but Queens resident Dietmar Dietering would say he's a crusader for quiet. I think peace and quiet is the best. Dietering has spent months searching for New York City bars, restaurants, and shops that play music spilling out onto the sidewalk. And then he, a regular citizen, issues those businesses noise violations. Thousands of them. Is this music illegal? It's coming out of the door? Yeah. Would you issue a place like this a ticket? Yeah. An obscure part of the city's administrative code says businesses are not supposed to play music for, quote, advertising purposes or to attract attention. And regular citizens are allowed to issue summonses. If they can prove the allegations in court, they get 25 to 50 percent of the fines collected. Records obtained by the I-Team show prior to last month, Dietmar Dietering had issued more than 500 noise tickets, totaling more than $600,000 in fines. Is this your primary occupation, issuing these tickets? Uh, yeah, one, one could say so, yeah. There's so many violations out there and a lack of enforcement, and I see the victims. Dietering says the victims are everyday New Yorkers who have to deal with sidewalk noise pollution. But a growing number of small businesses say they are the real victims. We're getting bombarded with tickets. This month, a group of seven bar owners and managers told the I-Team they believe the city's citizen complaint law is being abused. Each of them has received multiple tickets for noise violations written by deterring, adding up to thousands of dollars. But they say no neighbors have actually complained about their music. They're not cheap violations. Like right now here, I'm looking at minimum $8,000, max of 33. That's a lot of money for one business. How many of you think this is essentially a way for a few citizens to make some extra money? It's outrageous. We have restaurants and bars calling us up, and they're getting four, five, six violations from the same person before they even get notice that they've received the first violation. It's adding up to thousands and thousands of dollars, and these bounty hunters, essentially, that are issuing these violations are taking home a portion of it. New York City's Hospitality Alliance, representing thousands of bars, clubs, and restaurants, now asking city council to ban regular citizens from writing noise violations. And late today, the the city's Department of Environmental Protection called for changes to the noise code. The DEP commissioner writing, it's disappointing that a small group of people are abusing the system to terrorize local businesses for personal profit under the pretense of protecting the environment. We're not disturbing any citizens. Uraine Nadell's cell phone stores in Jackson Heights and Corona have attracted dozens of citizen-issued noise violations. I actually took loans from my mother and my brother to pay for the lawyers. He told us he believes the intensity of ticketing here in predominantly Hispanic neighborhoods has had a discriminatory impact. According to an I-Team analysis of city records, Dietmar Dietering has issued more tickets in Jackson Heights and Corona than any other zip codes. It, it sounds like they are portraying this as, oh, I'm going after Latinos because I hate Latinos. No, I love Latinos. Uh, and, and the Latinos are the people here on the street. They are the victims. Dietmar Dietering says he has won a total of 172 noise cases and lost just 27 in court. He has hundreds of other cases where business owners have just defaulted without going to court. And believe it or not, he is not the only one. The I-Team has learned there is at least one other New York City citizen who has filed even more noise tickets than Dietering.